Okay, the embarrassment carries on for me. Um, this is my original prop. This is a prop that uh, I first put on the tarantula when I first got it. And uh, it's really doggy. Uh, when you compare it to a new uh, prop, um, you can see the state of it sort of thing. These are the original, so this is uh, three months of total abuse, loads of crashes, and um, that's why it's like it is really. I didn't balance it when I first got it because uh, I didn't have a balancer and uh, it's always flown absolutely fine. So I couldn't really see a lot of sense in it. I've bought a balancer, um, so I'm gonna balance it what I think is the right way of doing it, uh, but you've got to make up your own mind sort of thing. But you can see the difference there, um, this one's got bits out of the end and this one's lovely and new, um, the color and everything. But um, it still flies well, so. Okay, so this is the balancer I bought. Um, it's the cheapest one around, um, but uh, I thought I could always make something if I need anything else. Well, let's have flown without any problems before, so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, let's run through how I, I'm gonna try doing it anyway. Basically, you take off one of these. There we go. And then it, you slide the prop onto here. Obviously we're going to have a problem because we've got the uh, cone on the end there. And I, I don't really know what the cone's there for, to be honest. I think it's just a protection thing. But by the time that would get to you, I think that would have probably made quite a bit of a mess of whatever it was going to do. So I think you can cut these off or I'm going to try pulling it off, see how we get on. Like I said, I didn't do this when I originally got the tarantula. Okay, so might have to just drill a, make this hole a bit bigger because the way the cog works is it goes in and then hits a the shoulder inside um, that stops it going any further and then hopefully the hole, yes the holes do line up then so uh, if I do have to drill something we'll get around it somehow or other. Um, there we go, oh no it goes right the way through so we should be okay. Uh, we just won't be able to use these two cones, but I'm not actually seeing what the cones are going to do if I, if this is pushed up against the shoulder. So hmm, I'll give it a go, see how we go. There we are. And um, like I say, this is a very simple one done with magnets. There is supposed to be some friction with it. Um, uh, obviously that's shown this side is heavier and it's dropping back down again. So just to check that is the actual prop, I'm going to turn the um, actual balance of rod round because that could just be adding a bit of weight, um, but it's not. So it's def definitely that side still. And actually, I suppose we could do that, couldn't we? And then that would check it. After I've done it on the first one, I'm not going to bother again, but uh, but that is definitely, hopefully you can see that on camera, This is this side is down. Oops, you can see that drop down. Okay, so this side is heavy and the way I, th I want to do it, um, I've seen lots of different ways of putting tape on and everything. Tape or anything like that worries me a bit because tape can come off. You're gonna be very imbalanced. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take a little bit off here with some uh, fine sandpaper. Um, uh, this is seriously fine. Um, I've used it for other bits and pieces on the quad if I've needed to rub anything down to fit it together. Um, and it is really, as you can probably, yeah, I have no idea what the grit is. You'll probably see it on the back here somewhere. It's got 8 to 80, but I would have said it was even softer than 280. Okay, um, I don't know which side to do it really. Um, I'll probably take it off the top because thinking that the downdraft is probably the important bit. And we're taking such a small amount, I really don't think it's going to make a lot of difference. So I'll literally just give it a gentle rub. Try and keep it even across so we're not going to change the, the profile or anything of this prop. And if there was anything on the prop, like um, when it came out of, because uh, these are injection molded, when it came out of the injection mold, like it's got there, there's a little bit there. If there was a bit on the front end, I would take that off. Um, so you've got a nice smooth cutting edge to it. Same on the back as well. So I have no idea how much I'm gonna have to take off or anything else, so let's just see how we're doing now. 
I didn't really take anything off till, did I? Oh, it's a bit better though. Just shows you, doesn't it? You don't need a much. So that's how I'm going to balance my props and uh, see whether it makes any difference. We will see. Okay, so do that for the other three. Mm -hmm.